Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching a Crypto Hamster channel. Today we will talk about the special project. It is called NCAN, uh, which stands for New Kind of Network. And I believe that this one is very special among the other projects um, in the cryptocurrency uh, area. And today I will try to explain why. So, um, I must say that everything which I will tell now um, is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just merely my opinion, which I'm um, stating about this. So don't uh, take it as uh, an advice to buy or sell. We're done with disclaimer. So um, all the basically data about the project I took from their website, from the um, uh, official documents, white paper, uh, some um, like Telegram group or Twitter, uh, so all open sources, so you can find this data by the, by yourself. Um, so what those guys actually state? Um, first, they explain that today there is a problem with the uh, internet. The, not a problem, but sort of imperfection of the internet, and this imperfection has many aspects. For example, they say that uh, the internet is not neutral. Uh, they say uh, the repeal of the net neutrality policy means that internet service providers cannot can block, uh, throttle, and prioritize content. In in fact, it is so. So just imagine that the company who can um, who provides you the traffic, uh, the company actually can manage the this traffic uh, and, and sort the, the one which the, this company prefers to uh, provide, right? So it, it can block certain things, certain, certain content and whatsoever. So there is a definitely a uh, thing to consider. Second is that uh, there is a um, disbalance, misbalance between the supply and demand of the traffic. So like for example, if you have your internet connection at home and you have a very high uh, speed connection so for example you watch a movie and you utilize this connection to a certain extent but then you will go to sleep and then nobody uses this internet but you still pays for 24 hours um, uh, service right so and on the other hand sometimes you or somebody else doesn't have this um, uh, chance to the chance to uh, have the internet connection when or, or high-speed internet connection when he or she needs it but so th this is um, basically the, the disbalance of the supply and demand of the traffic uh, deficiency of uh, today SDN so yes um, traditional systems with a centralized controller can become a bottleneck for performance as well as the target for some malicious attacks in fact this is true um, Although the security level, of course, is, is relatively high these days, but still, um, in the case of the centralized authority uh, maintaining a certain process or um, uh, objects or, or systems, uh, this is uh, somehow vulnerable for, for um, the attacker, for, for the attacks. Um, fourth thing is that the uh, network fragmentation uh, yeah, indeed, uh, there are um, so many, 12, they say 12,000 uh, internet providers uh, worldwide, but uh, only top tier provider are able to share traffic given peering agreements. Um, so if you would have the, all the providers, even smaller ones, uh, the smallest ones, um, be able to share the traffic uh, between each other, that will be great. Currently, it's not the case. Um, privacy. Uh, in principle, all the data which you um, have in your, which you um, upload or, or somehow share through the internet is not private anymore. So you trust uh, the provider, you trust certain um, services, certain um, uh, parts of the, of the internet um, that this, this data will not be shared, will not, will not be stolen or whatever. So this is another another aspect which should 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 be considered as a sort of a flaw or imperfection of current internet, and NCAN um, states or declares that they may have a up they may have a solution to improve those those things. Uh, so 
Uh, on the other hand, what they say is that um, currently with the blockchain technology, we have sort of two major parts of, of this um, of this field. One is computing, or or actually, well, it's it's more broad, but computing as in 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 terms of um, um, ap application of Ethereum or even Bitcoin, um, which based in proof of work and uh, the storage uh, and the example like uh, Filecoin, Zycon, and etc. So, um, however, there is no um, there is no way there is no um, protocol or con or, or not a, the protocol, let's say system, who would be able to provide um, like the interface to um, safely and efficiently. Uh, share or and interact uh, between these two parts and and expand it of course and NKN say that we can actually be this third part of the blockchain of the crypto world and um, they say that in principle this is this is a network like sharing the data um, uh, tr uh, transmitting the data and the network is 1.4 trillion business a year, um, which is really huge. And if they can utilize this, this would could be amazing. So, um, and and they claim that in principle they can be so-called the third pillar of the blockchain um, by blockchainizing the network layer. Um, in principle, in my opinion, it's it's really clever because in fact you may have everything to um, um, like to, to to make different application work applications work but you need the interface to share this this data and even even like if you think of the Bitcoin for example you still use internet to send your bitcoins right of course it is decentralized and everything but still you use like um, uh, traffic providers to uh, make your private key send it send it somewhere or um, even your bitcoin send somewhere although it's it's encrypted and everything and all but but still so you need uh, some if, if at least if you follow this idea of um, everything should be put in blockchain not everything but everything reasonable should be block put in blockchain then internet taking account all of all those uh, disadvantages is the thing which should be should be considered so um, what uh, they actually um, uh, suggest so first thing is that um, they would be using a sort of um, software the centralized software uh, um, it's called Decentralized Software Defined Network or SDN as global at global scale. It enables network operators and enterprises to dynamically route traffic according to real-time performance metrics and costs. It means that they can, uh, they will be able to uh, efficiently re redistribute the existing internet traffic based on the, their system. They will take the traffic where it does need and put it there, it, this traffic um, to the place or to the area uh, at the certain time where it needed, where it is needed. So it's it's a really clever idea. And uh, NKN is the first decentralized network uh, connectivity exchange to handle millions of micropayments for millions or even billions of users in real time. And this is really important thing because. Uh, if you look deeper at the, at the idea of the project, you will see that they actually would have to uh, do this for, if the, for the whole internet. How many users, how many nodes, how many um, um, providers they should be there? Uh, millions indeed, if not billions eventually. So <clears throat> if you'll just think about the blockchain idea, like blockchainizing this, this should be done with uh, uh, it, it, uh, like standards of the blockchain at the, at the moment, it should be done for uh, very high throughput, very high TPS. Um, it's it's an amazingly complicated task, but NKN provides a very elegant solution, in my opinion, to this problem. 
but it's still amazing. But the problem is is really is really hard, but they are able to to solve it. So, um, what they actually uh, suggest? So they say that there there, are, there will be four core elements uh, of their system of their technology. First is the centralized data transmission network or DDTN, and um, this is the um, dynamic topology and routing based on core distributed hash table for millions or billions of nodes. Um, how they will implement this, we can we can tell later. Uh, second thing is uh, proof of relay, and this is a another very unique feature which they offer, which we, which they um, suggest. Um, in principle, proof of relay. Uh, uses signature chain as a proof of a relay for all the nodes along the network road. It means that um, they, at, at to some, um, maybe randomly, maybe randomly they choose a uh, number of nodes, and if the traffic goes through those nodes, this chain of the traffic serves as the proof of the, um, like like a proof, not a proof of work, but proof of uh, transmission of proof of relay and uh, in principle it is rather efficient because you don't need to have additional power efficient um, uh, computation or energy to provide this because it actually uh, on the same way as um, providing this uh, proof of relay for the certain data uh, it also uh, serves the network so it's like um, two birds one stone. Uh, third thing is blockchain uh, consensus and this is um, another thing uh, which nobody has so far especially for the certain for this certain task uh, so <clears throat> NKN has designed a highly scalable consensus algorithm based on cellular automata uh, concept and ISIC model and has applied it to the next gen next generation blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer networking across millions of nodes. So the key point here is cellular automata system or concept, uh, which maintains those uh, interaction between nodes, uh, which is highly scalable. And uh, in principle, you don't need to have million transactions at at this. Well, you will have those million transactions, but they will not uh, happen. Uh, like they, they will not uh, load the whole blockchain instantly the, only the fractional uh, loads will happen so well, we'll touch this a bit later and the fourth thing the fourth thing is the um, tokens economics incentive for uh, tokens distribution so they provide the token as a reward for participants who would like to share the traffic or um, those for, for those people, of course, who will um, uh, ask for the traffic, they will have to pay in the in the with these tokens. So this is the reason for uh, tokens to be used, and this is actually very important because uh, clearly, in, in that case, the token is a utility token, right? It's not a security token, and this is great. So. Now let's look at the crucial point here, in my opinion, what a seller automata is and why uh, without it we, don't, we will not be able to make such a solution. So they actually take the concept from physics and you can refer to the white paper which full of the math and uh, if you nice math, good mathematician you can actually understand what is there. Uh, to be honest I didn't get everything uh, because I'm not a specialist in this area, but uh, in general it seems very reasonable and the point is that this is the concept uh, which can um, provide fully decentralized network uh, and it can be made, like you, you can um, have the whole huge network contained, uh, containing millions and billions of nodes, you can sort of uh, divide it into many small networks and each of those networks will operate separately and simultaneously and the point here the key point here is to reach the consensus 
and this cell automata concept um, provides the the solution for reaching the consensus here so and yeah it's dynamic it's self-organized and self-evolving and it al also has the simple rules uh, implemented so um, what is the most important things here what are the mo most important things here uh, I took some uh, uh, key phrases from the white paper and just want to highlight it. So <clears throat> they stated that for such a purpose a random network is more efficient uh, than some distributed network with some certain rules. The consensus algorithm uh, that NCAN proposed <clears throat> works in random networks without any modification so that every node does not need to maintain a specific connectivity. Which means again that you have those clusters within the network which operate simultaneously but separately and consensus is reached within this, these clusters and then they can um, um, interact with each other so it's brilliant idea in my opinion and the key point is that there should be a system there should be a mathematical solution to realize this and the point is that the team is about to provide this solution. So they say the consensus in cellular automata uh, described by Ising model, again physic, uh, physical model, uh, cellular automata is naturally a large distributed system with only local connect connections. Um, uh, the asymptotic behavior, okay, so it guarantees the global consensus in cellular automata using message passing alg algorithm based on only a sparse local neighbors. So again very few neighbors which can reach the consensus and uh, there will not be um, fails or errors uh, and NKN found and provides so they actually uh, made some certain work they showed in, in the white paper and they, they say some uh, <clears throat> uh, cases uh, showed some cases that they found and proved this is this is a key point so they proved that a uh, class of uh, cell automata rules will guarantee to reach consensus in a most or from any directions uh, iterations iterations using only states of sparse neighbors so it means that they say guys we found the solution and it works and we guarantee that it works so what else they they say it will it will work it, it must work and we'll see how it will implement it eventually um, second thing which I would like to uh, address is the proof of relay which nobody has so um, according to that the expected rewards a node gets depend uh, depends on the network connectivity and data transmission power so you see that in that case so it is sort of a, a proof of work but twisted in a certain manner so you don't have the uh, computing resources guessing the numbers to uh, find out the next um, uh, block but you actually provide the traffic you provide the connection you, you serve the, you serve uh, as a relay and this if this is a certain chain of the relay uh, relay this serves as a proof that um, this let's say transaction is um, uh, valid right and in that way proof of relay is not a waste of resources since the work performed in uh, proof of relay benefits the whole network by providing more transmission power power so if you will understand these two points about the uh, cell automatic consensus uh, concept and the proof of relay you will see how this idea brilliant is brilliant it's it's amazing and the only thing is whether the team will be able to realize that I mean I can say that uh, I will be able to make uh, like um, free energy without any resources I can state that but do I have the actually proof of that well if you actually look at the at their white paper they have a sort of proof and um, they it, it seems like they indeed um, sort of a new if you will say like blockchain um, number one is, is Bitcoin and Ethereum is 2.0 and like maybe EOS or Cardano 3.0 etc etc 
but this is not four or five zero this is like blockchain X this is a new concept of the blockchain and with a, a different the new proof of relay now you can find tons of different proof of any rubbish thing but none of them make sense well 99.9% .9 of them don't make sense but this is really reasonable and it it's actually solves the problem of both uh, proof of work and proof of state a stake which is like sort of controversial to some ex to some extent um, yeah there are some issues you can you can argue about that but still it's it's really exciting so they also state that they have like five key points uh, like stones keystones about their project and there are three of them of them uh, which is incentive layers with uh, token uh, um, transmission and uh, tokenizing the connectivity the consensus layer with uh, proof of relay and network layer with seller automata so i think that um, actually two of them are more even more uh, important than first one so consensus layer is is is, is a key point but nobody so far had uh, the solution similar as seller automata so you see um, we have the million of nodes for example right and um, actually the the NCAN project uh, people say that in their white paper it's unrealistic to every node for every node to maintain an up-to-date list of all nodes in the network right um, instead every node is the network uh, in the network is only connected to and aware of few other nodes in the network which are called neighbors which we dis discussed before already so this is how like this is a revolution concept re revolutionary concept which nobody has so far I think it's it's just amazing so and and um, basically so we will talk about um, the developers later and you will see that it, it's reasonable that so far nobody had that before <clears throat> so um, next thing which I was going to mention is um, the consensus oh, okay so the consensus algorithm based on seller automata is used to communicate with neighbors right and a consensus between large-scale nodes can be efficiently achieved again which they already stated the relay workload for uh, data transmission can be verified by a proof of relay alg algorithm. The proof of relay randomly selects a small number of fixed packets and proof uh, um, as it's sent to other nodes for payment and reward. It therefore has features, uh, um, features that can be verified but cannot be predicted or controlled. So this is again how they that they explain that how, how the proof really works and the fact that it is um, like how, um, uh, tough for uh, malicious attackers to like break the system and again like BTC in uh, ethereum mining schemes proof of relay is useful proof, proof of work mining is relying relaying data um, another thing another key point of their uh, project is dApps so in principle they will make as they say they will make a sort of a toolkit for uh, de developers dApp developers which will help uh, to integrate their app in the system so imagine that you have your application developer your brilliant application you want to share it but you have again you don't have the interface to do that and you need to integrate it to the certain um, uh, interface already solutions already existed so they will provide like uh, transmission algorithms to make these d apps move to the on other platforms so it's it's really great it's a really massive idea um, now let's talk about the um, tokens of the project uh, this is now neo based token token and you see that, well, more and more new projects, uh, new based projects are um, launching, and it's actually most of them, well, most of those which you know, <laughs> right? They are really, really successful. So you know the Ontology project recently, Moon, and so um, they. The, the idea is that, it to me that. Neo has a very strong community, especially in the eastern part of the world, 
and <clears throat> they it seems like they have a vision of the whole uh, let's say a whole our world and all the markets within our world um, and they try to cover all the possible um, aspects all the possible um, fragments uh, facets of, of those markets of, of our interactions and everything and um, like you have the deep brain chain um, artificial intelligence you have the uh, uh, QLC chain QLink um, covering the uh, mobile things and yeah so well of course Neo and ontology but you see they they try to build um, like complete infrastructure based on the blockchain and NKN is one of the important points here I think <clears throat> so um, what is the crucial thing here about the tokens so you know the IC already passed it was in April uh, now it's uh, on, the, on the exchanges and um, the whole total supply the whole total token supply is 1 billion 25% um, was uh, sold on private sale uh, it has the vesting for six months um, although this vesting is a sort of distributed um, so currently total circulating supply in the market is 200 uh, millions uh, 100 millions from public sale plus 100 millions from private investors and for the rest of 150 millions of the private sales will be realized um, released by 50 millions every two months so in six months uh, from May 28th there will be 350 million tokens in circulating supply it means that um, they actually holds the uh, private investors from selling the coins instantly but releasing them gradually like every two months so if only five percent uh, was sold in pre-sale no vesting and five percent public sale also no vesting a lot of to developer team to foundation of NKN and 30 percent for mining next 20 and 25 years the point here is that it's actually a lot of the tokens uh, are vested and very few tokens were sell sold to the um, uh, retail investors in principle it, it's not the best in my opinion uh, tokens uh, distributions for the like if you want to have a high gain uh, instantly but the fact that the, the, the this project it's not aimed to make you 10x next week after the listing in a, on, on the exchange and then it will dump and nobody will tell about this project no they actually want to make the, this um, product so they want to um, reach their goals and in order to do that they don't they don't need to have like people from the crowd uh, buy their tokens they need to have some funds which they essentially will use for the development and uh, yeah they they have the private sell for uh, huge investors and it's not bad because if the huge investor gave like two three million dollars for the well i don't know whatever one million dollar investment they will not actually go to the exchange and sell their tokens no they will wait until the pro project will uh, uh, provide the value and those investors most of them probably from uh, like near around area uh, or, or society they will not sell it instantly because they know that NKN will provide this value and will be huge eventually they will not play on these swings like every every week or a month or something like that so it's not actually that bad although it looks like oh it's only five percent pre-sale and five percent public sale but in in, in reality it's not that bad so uh, yeah so this is the token distributions let, uh, distribution let's talk about the team now and this is like again one of the sweet parts of the project uh, first um, those people are like you have the core team which is really really professionals uh, Yambo Lee so he is founder of um, um, Encore developer 
so he works uh, worked in the blockchain area in cryptography and um, he is one of the developers of DNA and so um, well you you wouldn't probably you wouldn't find a person uh, which would be more um, um, professional sort of professional in this in this field and some people just say he's he's merely a genius and in fact if you look either if you watch uh, his interviews or something uh, when he's saying uh, t talking about um, his business well yeah he's he's really great uh, the marketing part is from uh, Zhang Bruce Lee sorry if I will make the wrong um, uh, pronunciation of the words so he's also co-founder co uh, and strategy and innovator innovation um, so he also worked in many huge <coughs> uh, project like Nokia and Google and you see that those guys they actually had a lot of experience right and um, so uh, the blockchain uh, marketing or, or in general development of, of the crypto projects not the crypto only just general projects and the scientific to the tech part <clears throat> which should be consistent with the blockchain uh, so these guys Yulin Zhang uh, Yulin Zhang maybe um, so he is the core researcher and developer and he's in a strong connection with their advisor uh, Whitfield Diffie and they have only one advisor here but you see they don't need more and people some people say oh just one advisor is not not enough but they don't need more because the core point here to solve is the scientific solution of the problem and uh, they, their solution is based on cellular automata and Whitfield Diffie is the guy well basically he's the sort of invest inventor of the cryptography at some point um, if you look at the at his bio well it's he he stand he was at the very roots of the cryptography he made so much in the field and everybody know him in in the area so uh, he is um, I'm not sure maybe he's inventor of the cell automate at least a developer the like core developer of it and uh, probably they will uh, interact with Yul and Zhang uh, very closely in this aspect so this is you'll see how you see how those like bricks they connect together so they have all the necessary part parts for successful uh, development of the project <clears throat> another thing is that um, Yang Bo Li is not only uh, like a genius person but he has a very strong connections with within the neo community so let's let me let's see uh, he's a founder of NKN, of course, yes, and initially he was a founder, a co-founder of on-chain company uh, behind Ontology Network and NEO. So, you know, the on-chain um, company and those Ontology NEO projects are huge, and he was actually behind that. Now, he uh, in in the lead of the NKN. So, it's pr first, he is successful, second, he has those connections with other people within the, those projects right so uh, the same like uh, Jun Li from Yu Li from Ontology and Da Hong Fei from Neo um, so he was a developer behind uh, DNA it, it's not it's different it, DNA distributed network architecture used by Neo and Ontology um, uh, the Diffie, Dr. Diffie is in charge of research banking and crypto labs investor uh, is uh, Neo Global Capital and um, a member of uh, Telecom Infra B. This is the, the their um, uh, partner. So, if you look at this this sort of picture, it, I I took it from one um, guy Twitter. Uh, you can see the link here. So how how actually they they their um, um, connections are are linked together. So it's really uh, really nicely linked system made by people you see people and organization um, if you don't know about NEO which I highly doubt but still 
uh, new anthology is 1121 market cap ranks correspondingly 2.6 billion at the moment and 1 billion dollars capitalization so those projects are huge and if uh, Yambo Lee will be able to lead NKN to these levels well it's it's um, one of the high tier um, first tier project then um, and um, of course we want this su such things as new uh, cryptocurrencies be listed in many exchanges and you know that uh, NEO and Binance are sort of a close related so we hope maybe um, there will be not so hard to be listed uh, we'll see so now uh, they are partners and again with the, every next uh, point I try to cover uh, you will see how the like new um, pieces new, one, one, one new piece fits the whole uh, system so they are partners telecom infra project uh, in, telecom infra details telecom infra project in 2016 Facebook set up a new telecom infra project that brings together operators infrastructure providers system integrators and other technology companies to work together and develop and deploy to develop and deploy new technologies changing the traditional way of building and deploying telecommunication network infrastructure members include facebook china unicorn uh, deutsche telecom ntt decoma orange formerly french telecom sk telecom vodafone and others it means that they partnered with a huge project like set it by Facebook you see which um, merged together uh, merges together a lot of the telecommunication companies those companies huge companies they they see the future of such approach and they already like invest in it right so this is is a crucial thing they already have it you see second <clears throat> sort of a similar but still uh, the Open Not Net Networking uh, Foundation was founded in 2011 by Deutsche Telekom, Facebook, Google, Google, Microsoft, Verizon, and, and Yahoo. As a non-profit organization that is still growing, uh, already has more than 140 million members. Oh, sorry, 140 members, uh, and their common mission is to oh, it will look very nice um, to accelerate uh, the development to open uh, SDN. Uh, this foundation promotes open SDN and uh, open flow, flow uh, technologies and standards and promotes the development of products, services, applications, customer for their markets. So you see how um, like one more, one more uh, partnership is really important for this type of the project and really have it. And finally, they partner with the Crypto Labs, um, uh, which is run by uh, Whitfield uh, Diffie. Uh, and this is the like technology part, this, the scientific part of, of the work. So it seems like they already have everything. <clears throat> um, the roadmap. Uh, it's, well, you may call it a long roadmap because it's up to 2019. So far, they're, they actually, it's, it's a bit longer, but still. So in uh, first quarter of 2019, they will launch the testnet with full features. Uh, and basically, they will have this sort of main project only next year, next quarter, first quarter of next year. Before that, they will uh, make crucial developments. And the major point of they will try to um, focus on because they actually have a lot of things already done so th their system at some point already works the major point they will focus on is to find the flaws and the possible like bugs in the system uh, and means that when they will finally um, uh, show their testnet product it will be to, to very high level perfect wouldn't be perfect but very close to perfect because all of the blood of the bugs will be already elicited and removed eliminated um, interestingly that uh, in um, second quarter of this year 
there should be a launch a prototype blockchain system with data transmission ca capacity and uh, proof of relay and it's actually today in the day when I'm recording this video uh, um, I would say that it should be already enough to believe that the project is de um, delivering the value so today we will see today and the next recent days we will see uh, following days we will see that um, whether testnet is reasonable was was shown and everything but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it will be and also uh, recently it was the conference crypto dev conference in 2018 um, basically in beginning of June um, so there was a talk from Yilin Zhang this core developer team member uh, so he announced the open source was released and it was actually open uh, in github and everybody applauded at that point I, I, I've seen this video um, because they made it like 20 days before the schedule had the schedule and um, since well that, that it is developer conference and people know how hard to do things uh, like follow the deadlines but they actually made it much faster and <clears throat> that was the point showing again that the team works hard actually and again talking about the connections and um, partnerships on this conference conference crypto conference uh, you can look at the uh, partners of the conference what are the first partner neo binance uh, bitmain zcash uh, you can find me like you see QLC chain, Quantstep, um, Nano, so 0x. It's it's the place where handshakes happens. Happen. Um, I believe that, like again, you can look at the consensus conference for example. This is the place where business is made, but this is the place where the product is provided so developers uh, meet to uh, meet and and they they show their experience and the, the progress and everything so those guys actually do their job instead of shielding their coins so it's it's very important for the long term in my opinion <clears throat> and speaking about the um, code um, if you look at the github you can find their code um, uh, open and uh, actually compare the like how much people uh, involved and how how much work is done so um, I just look at the uh, commits for the their project for for some part because there are many uh, like uh, different um, sub uh, sub works here but just look at, at some of them I'll compare with let's say the Dallas of, of um, Cardano of course it's it's relatively huge and then um, EOS also a lot of things but actually it's not that huge comparing to the um, NKN let's say recently launched one chain has pretty much the same you see the the scale here 40 40 20 60 like like that and recently for example one chain you don't see a lot of the commits and this was the commits of the NKN before the launch this was probably the area of uh, ICO and like ICO related work and uh, like some um, exposing process and launching of the project and here is after the um, what was it after uh, yeah, after and a little bit before the um, open source uh, code was was released. Um, so and again, this is the commits for one chain 817, some some part of that, and NKN is 910. So you see its total number. So you see, if you look at the other projects, are not that which are not that hyped or not that well known sometimes you can see like one person maintaining the project and we have like two three comments and everything something like that but this is actually doing a lot at the moment now 
competitors. What are the? I, I just want to highlight some, not weak points, but things which you need to consider uh, valuing the, this project. So, what are competitors? There are few. Um, there are many. Okay, but again, um, you would find them doing not exactly the same thing. They, they are either uh, based um, a project based on um, like blockchainizing uh, mobile data or uh, like doing uh, something like VPN, blockchain VPN or something. <clears throat> but NCAN is like covering most of them and it's much broader. Also, none of those projects, in my opinion, at least to the extent of the knowledge I have, they don't have none of, neither of the team close from the profici profici proficiency, uh, professionalism point of view um, as NKN, uh, ne uh, nor the um, solution like Cellular Automata. So I wouldn't even mention the proof of relay concept. So yeah, there are competitors, but mm, are they really close to NCAN? I don't think so. Um, what is the? I just want to highlight a couple of points, which may be a little bit not a worrisome, but just again needs to be considered. So they have the applications, uh, like examples for their project, and um, first you can first application you can. <coughs> Uh, share your data basically and and uh, have the um, rewards for that or you can you can pay for the data share shared data shared uh, traffic uh, if you need it <clears throat> right so what I want to highlight in that let me just read it because maybe I'm, I'm, I'll miss something so in that case uh, the person who uh, pays for the for the traffic has to pay, um, but it would mean that the price should be um, not not really high. Otherwise, people will not be using it. Uh, it's easier just to have the um, uh, connection plan. Um, therefore, globally, it means uh, it would be much cheaper to have low cost traffic plan and the upgrade. Um, it will um, and then upgrade. It will eat with NKN when it is needed. Uh, however, if everybody will have that proof, poor traffic plans, there will be no providers of better traffic to support the, condi the condition. So it means that from the economical standpoint, such service will be provided uh, from the companies delivering the network connection. It means that the app on your phone with NKN system or whatever you can use for NKN will not solve the um, uh, or will not make internet more efficient, but the huge infrastructure development and internet provider companies agreement is required. So it means that yeah, you like generally ideas is really great, but uh, you need to uh, convince companies to um, to help to to participate. Otherwise, mm, they sort of well it, it ends up uh, in the in the condition when there will not be enough people who will be able to share their high high uh, efficiency traffic uh, conditions because they all will be in a low condition using NKN but who will, who will share second thing uh, oops sorry Second thing is is actually close to the first one, um, so uh, huge players will not want to lose their profits because the efficiency of the network operation means less work money for them, and the actually this point was also um, highlighted by some of the interviewers uh, of the NKN team, and I think it was the Zheng Li who said that yeah. There might be such thing similar like that, but uh, we still believe that the huge companies can um, find some incentives to participate, and also it's not like 
black and white situation there are first tier one tier two tier three companies so we can still have a lot of the uh, providers who will uh, cooperate so it's again um, it, it is just a hard task you see it's it's really challenging goal but in principle it's doable so and again those mil millions and uh, billions of micropayments it's really ambitious but uh, data decentralized um, uh, transition network is 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 a solution finally um, which I was going to, to say just a few things about their um, uh, like m minor points about the project so there is a telegram group there are two English and Chinese and I uh, check the group I check their uh, admins work and so there, it's it's really friendly uh, informative objective uh, it's about two twenty 20 uh, thousand members Twin Twitter is 6.5 so actually it's a relatively huge community for the such such a uh, uh, young project uh, white paper uh, I went through the right white paper. It is short, relatively short, but rather clear. Uh, it thoroughly des describes the project concept, does not have redundant text and sort of preaching, which you may s often find in, in white papers these days. Also, scientific part is really reasonable and strong. Please refer to that. And it's far from many of the recent coins ICOs projects, which appear to be just comically, comically low. Uh, introduction document, which I used a lot by, uh, for for this presentation, it's very easy digesting info. Info, uh, there's not so much, basically no math like in white paper, uh, but clear and full data. ICO ended on April 16, uh, rose uh, uh, 12.6 million dollars, uh, 100% of the hard cap. And it was sold just in an hour, so you can see how this thing um, was popular among the investors. Um, max token price, the sale of token price was 25 cents, and average uh, for 14 cents. And it was listed on Gate.io with a price of about 38 cents, and max was 54 cents. Now with the market dumping, you can see it's actually close to the ICO price, and it's really nice time to buy. By the way. Um, current market price is 40 million uh, dollars so it's relatively low comparing to new anthology so you see the room to grow um, there's a lot of that um, again testnet prototype launch launch today so we'll see how it goes but very promising finally a thing which I personally would be considering but it's my opinion please don't take it as an offense um, the name although I can see why they it, it used it because it's like a, a transferred from the um, new kind of science and a new kind of network sort of replica uh, but you see for the I, I understand they don't care too much about the promotion part they don't more marketing or something but they, they just want to build a project but um, in the long term I would feel that it is not that important however like NEO was rebranded right like uh, Rayblox was rebranded to, to Nano and, and everything I think MCAN is not the best name so you can find different um, names to pick maybe they will rebrand it eventually so the summary uh, they have a challenging goal it is not it's not it's not bad but it's it's sort of a thing which will stop you from reaching it soon um, it has a relatively long roadmap again um, and those pretty much it from the negative standpoint which I can think of however there are like neutral things this token distribution matrix which you may think of that um, is not that great uh, public is exposure is not maybe enough but on the, ha on the other hand it's not enough for it like 
price is uh, booming, but on the other hand, it's good for you and I because we know that if you will invest now, then eventually it will be well known by the public and then uh, we will be in a profit. Um, now the good things. So they have hot problem uh, taken and or, or use case. They have a working solution. They have a viable business model, innovative concept, tremendously strong technical basis. I love it. A unique scientific methodology, methodology also no comments. Uh, variable possible side applications, another uh, standpoint. Uh, genius core team and extraordinary advisor. Um, this is basically the main thing for the for every project, regardless of the uh, field. Uh, most reliable supporters, Neo and yada yada yada. High potential business connections, uh, crucial partnerships, positive track of progress records, remembering this GitHub and everything, and early stage. This is really it about the about the project. So, um, in my opinion, it's well. You see, it, it's really unique. It's really uh, new and special and positive in so many aspects. So you hardly can find something similar that and then and can in the whole market. I believe that it is. It has. It will have very bright future and they have everything to, to reach this future so uh, it's up to you what you think uh, about it but um, just make your own due diligence and see whether there is um, some flaws or which I maybe miss please leave a comment about it uh, check their telegram group check their white paper um, I don't know I, I seen many projects I checked many coins and and, and um, I couldn't find anything even close um, in like on average uh, having this high potential so I don't know it it's it looks it looks great to me so <clears throat> I hope that this was useful for you maybe at least some educative at least a bit educative and if you um, like this content please subscribe and leave a like if you want to if you already invested or you just want this project to be um, known by more uh, wider audience also please subscribe to my channel and put a like uh, of this feed for this video so more people will see it and be informed um, at that point, I would probably say goodbye and hope to see you in next videos. See you guys.